All right, right now it's time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. And Stephanie, we already have news of a Brown signing a free agent. I mean, it's a, the unofficial start of the season. They can officially sign guys on Wednesday, but they're going to be active. And that's, I think, good news for Browns fans. It is, and we're going to get to that in a second, Jay. It's a really happy Monday, though, for another venue here in Northeast Ohio. We've got one reopening again soon in the flats. The doors to the Music Box Supper Club will reopen on May 2nd, with new concerts added to the schedule every single week. Now, masks will still be required, except for when you're at your seat. The Music Box owners are very excited to bring live music and their fabulous food back to the riverfront. Now, as Jay said, with free agency kicking off in the NFL on Wednesday, Wednesday, we are tracking the latest Browns related rumors, news and signings on WKYC.com. First up, according to the NFL Network, the Browns have agreed to a three year $34 million deal with safety John Johnson III from the LA Rams. Also, the Browns are reportedly interested in defensive end Trey Hendrickson now with the New Orleans Saints. Now remember, the Saints have a salary cap issue which the Browns do not. And the Browns have also issued a restricted free agent tender to wide receiver Kaderil Hodge, which means Cleveland can match any offer Hodge receives let the fun begin and saucy brewworks is choosing sides when it comes to a new name for the tribe and to make it perfectly clear which side they're on they're launching a new logger called municipals the chief brewing officer says the name has history and depth just like rich bavarian brewing traditions rooted in cleveland now supporters of this name say it refers to old municipal stadium and puts the focus on the city and saucy brewworks likes that it's a more inclusive option the municipals kegs will be tapped april 5th the same day as the tribe's home opening against Kansas City, which you can watch right here on Channel 3. Now, I really like the story they tell about what the name means to them, Jay and Betsy. I'm just not sure I'm buying that all of that's going to come to mind if you see municipals on a jersey. I think it will for the older fans, but for most of those, I would say 35 and under, mm -hmm. 30 and under, they probably have no memories of the old stadium and probably just hear older people talking about it. I'm, I'm not sure that that would translate, but hey, I love it. I spent many days at Municipal Stadium and loved it. Steph, thanks. We appreciate it.